Um, hey, welcome to Hermitcraft. Okay, so let's get this started. I just took a quick look around our base and it looks like we got a couple of deliveries to check out. Look at this, it says Etho. This is not a down payment, this is a gift down payment. Which means you don't have to share this with your evil boss. Vintage Kebab. <laughs> it's all yours, love Corellis. Oh, that's so cool. So I told him he didn't need to give me anything more, but look at this, he, he's given us more for that What Is Love uh, note block song. Although it's a gift, it's not a down payment. No, no. Tax purposes, you know, he's paying us under the table a little bit. Uh, I think Corellis and Beef have had some beef with each other. <laughs> oh, what do you give us? Oh, wow, look at all that iron. Holy smokes. Oh, and he gave us pumpkins, good. I need pumpkins. Oh, more mending books. Good, I was almost out. And melons. Holy smokes, we're going to be building with these today. What's on this side? Okay, so he's got to... Looks like he... Oh, man. Double. Double the stuff. Thanks, Corellis. Okay, and what does this say? Mycelium resistance is calling. Meeting at headquarters. <gasps> Let's go. Where is everybody? Oh, not that urgent though. Okay, we'll have to check that out later, I guess. Well, I guess for now, let's work on our base a little bit to pass the time. I actually have a project I've been wanting to do for a few months here. Before we get into it, I have to explain a little bit about myself, actually. So as many of you know, I am a very humble person. I don't like to brag. In fact, I'm proud to say I'm probably the most humble person, but I do have a bit of a weakness. I can't help bragging about my ender chest. Have you guys seen my ender chest? Oh, it's amazing. Look at this. Anything I want is all super organized. Anywhere I go, I have everything I need in my ender chest. It's amazing. You know, I need something for a flower pot. I need the flower pots. I got it in here. I need, uh, you know, coral. I got my coral in here. Fishing. You never know when you want to go fishing. Look at this. I even have a large fern. Don't ask me how I got it, but we got it anywhere we go. The ender chest is the greatest storage room in this game. But unfortunately, as I use my ender chest, it kind of starts to run out of things. It starts to get a little disorganized. These aren't supposed to be here, actually. <laughs> and uh, it kind of gets a little messy, right? So our project for today is to work on a storage system for our ender chest. Now, that might sound a little bit crazy, but this is actually going to be very simple to do. So here's my idea. For every shulker box in our ender chest, we're going to have five hoppers dedicated to it. I've been training myself for the last few months to left click and then right click whenever I take an item out of my shulker boxes. <laughs> I can finally do it like consistently, which is great. It's a little bit of a thing you got to train yourself to do. But here's how it's going to work. You put uh, five different items in each of these hoppers, right? And then that'll be up to 25 items. Chalker boxes can hold 27 items, so unfortunately, the two items you use the least won't be able to get refilled this way. But as, now that this is like empty and our, our hoppers are loaded with all the different items, all we gotta do is stick this chalker box in here, and all five hoppers will fill it up at, at once. And then once that stack fills up, it'll go on to the next stack and the next one, and basically it'll fill up the whole chalker box with the stuff and refill anything that's missing. Now you might be thinking, okay, Etho, that's a cool little trick, but unfortunately your hoppers only hold one stack of each thing. That's not gonna work out too well. <laughs> well, no, what we're gonna be doing is putting chests above each of these and they actually fit extremely compactly. We'll just do something like this. And then in those chests, we will put all our items and they'll flow down into the hoppers as they disappear from here. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's get to building. Today, we're gonna be building with the Cayman Melons. Prismarine, blue terracotta, purple terracotta, sandstone, jungle planks, beehives, whatever that is. And our special sauce, end crystals.
Okay, nobody's around. Let's check the dumpster and see if Scar paid the diamond block for the mycelium resistance information. Yoink. We got the bite. Now we got to string them along and keep them going here. You know, just enough information to get them intrigued, but not enough to give any evidence on anything. so much building i am uh, built out now guys i've been at this for a few hours it's not done even we got so much more to do on it but this is probably as far as we're going to get on it in this episode uh-huh so where do we begin with this one even <laughs> well i'll address the the elephant in the room yeah i know it looks a little bit weird uh that's kind of what i was going for i actually really wanted to use this color scheme somewhere and I thought it looked a little bit similar to what we did here, so I thought that would be a good addition. Like, from this room, we'll go into that one. It's turning dark right now, and you can see we have no torches in there, we have no floor, and we're missing a roof, and uh, <laughs> a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So that's what we gotta still work on with this. We gotta decide what's gonna go in the middle. I think if we just made this a big, giant, flat floor, it would look pretty boring. So we either need to raise the floor or drop it down. From a distance, it looks a little out of place. So we're probably going to have to jungle over that, if I was to guess. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to be doing. So this room's going to have four potential paths, plus maybe one in the middle to drop down somewhere. And we'll probably be able to fly out uh, wherever we want. This one's going to connect up to that other room that we saw. These two, I have no clue at the moment. This one is going to go to over top our base. Look at this. So we'll probably have a path that runs through this way and this way. This one's not really going to lead anywhere. Probably just to like a like a, a garden area here with like a lookout over the base with like a fence or something so you don't fall down here. Um, I'm also thinking probably put like trees on the left here and like have it go over top of us and create like a cool... Cool uh, garden area sort of thing. This one's going to go straight across, probably, and somehow connect up to over here. The other big job we have to do with this, though, is just organize all the inventory. So we have 16 of these shulker loading areas, and each of those has five double chests and five hoppers. And <laughs> we're going to have to go through the Googler, start pulling stuff out and uh, filling these up. I tried doing just one of them here. I really don't have much sandstone, it seems. I had more red sand than sandstone, believe it or not. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's do a little practice run here, because I haven't actually used this yet. I just assume it works. <laughs> so I got my uh, shulker loaded in here, our sandbox. Um, the idea is we would probably have two sandboxes. Oh, it looks like they can kind of get stuck. That might be an issue. Um, let's see. So let's, we're going to want to create a new one here. So let's just throw one glass out from each of these. Okay, so we got our two sandboxes ready here. Uh, this is the one that's probably going to go in our ender chest. And this one we're going to leave here in the loader. And then when this one starts to run out, we can just uh, pop this one out, put this one in to fill up. And we'll have a full one right away. We won't have to wait for it to fill up. So I think that'll be a, a good way of doing it. Okay, and look at this. It's about to get to the next stack and it's starting to fill the next stack now so it'll fill all the way up except for these two anyways let's get away from our base here and start doing some other stuff this episode <laughs> So you might recall a couple weeks ago Cub Fan set up an auction for the shopping district here. He gathered all the stray shulker boxes that people left behind and put them up for auction. And we bid on it. We put in a bunch of big bids on the final day even. And the auction is closed. Apparently we won one of the auctions. <laughs> oh, all these guys, they came in at the last moment and outbid me. But we did win the most important one. Auction number two, the original 12 bamboo, 
This went up to like 200 and some diamonds. And then uh, we bid 12 sticks on it. And then someone bid, I think, 13. But then we came back. We bid the stick. So let's get that out of our valuables box here. This is where I keep all our goodies. Look at this. We, we still got the mega golden tickets. We got Scar's Road Pass. We got the stick. We're going to use that to buy the original 12 bamboo. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now, I don't know if these are actually the original. We need someone to appraise them for us. All right, everybody, check this out. B00 came through and worked on the Netherlands entrance. Even in the Nether here, he made a little entrance to the portal. So he got like the train tracks, and he's like, all aboard. Next stop, the Netherlands mini games area. <laughs> he's got the back carriage here, some seats, and then we walk into the next car into the Netherlands, the gaming district, and... <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, things didn't go, out go too well here. It's got like a little parkour puzzle you gotta figure out to get, to get out of here. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Look at this. So, it's easier to understand what's going on from the outside here. It's like a train, a Titanic train that got split in half, and... A space train too because it's up in the air and then it like hits the ground and then we got all the rubble flying and the fire and <laughs> it's pretty cool it's a, a strangely very suiting for this if you think about it like it's kind of a fun build for a gaming district and yet it's kind of a horrific build right so it kind of suits the netherlands theme oh the moment we've been waiting for it's meeting time welcome everyone to the official Mycelium <laughs> resistance. What is that? <laughs> you were interrupted by by some note blocks. I think uh, this is right on top of decked out, right? It is right super on top secret of like location. A... Nobody knows so where it is. Super there. Secret. Very secret. <laughs> Literally one block down, and you've got decked out is right Don't there. Don't fall in. So, oh. I mean, that, that brings me basically to why I'm having this meeting. You guys have all signed up. I am getting really interrupted by decked out. Yeah, a, <laughs> yeah. of, a lot of stealth going on right now. So you guys have all signed up, including XB, who is, he's with us. Hello, XB. Hey, Hello, hi, XB. Mike. This mycelium base isn't fit for purpose. Well, one, you can hear decked out all the time. Yes. And two, mm -hmm. it's not secret at all. Everyone knows the way in. Mm -hmm. This was like a recruitment thing. So since we're all like a, a gang now and we all know why we're here and what we're doing, then I think what we should do is take another location and make it our base and never show the entrance on camera that okay. way yes we can that have is, a proper I mean, it's getting kind of funky thing. down here too i i'd prefer if we moved out to be honest yeah it's, i mean it's it yeah. never never going to be a permanent location but it means that the mayor and his particularly his enforcer can't can't find us because they mm -hmm. they they think we're here they know they know everyone's seen my videos they know where the entrance we're a little is. close I'm, to town hall right now yeah, we are not actually leaving one day by Cub fan, so I'm pretty yeah, sure Cub way. watched me walk in here earlier, so like <laughs> it's ultra compromised. <laughs> decked out going. Cub's actually just been low and played decked out. So we need to we need to find a new location for the mycelium resistance so that we can resist. Sounds uh, good. What are we resisting exactly? Yeah, I, I was wondering that too, to be honest. Uh, um, you know, you guys, you know why we're here. We're oh well, not uh, really. Of course, I see you. We're here. Just, we're here. Oh yeah, come, come, come by the beast. <laughs> we are here to yeah. send Scar a message. Oh, right. a message. Yes, yeah. yeah. so send Scar a message. Yeah, send Scar yeah. a message. That's my silly resistance. What what uh, message is it exactly? Yeah, what, what is the, what's the, what is the message I, actually? It green. It's it's about the principle. It is about oh. the principle, okay? It is oh, the right, principle. right. The, the principle. Sending oh. Scar a message. Because yeah. it's are you writing that down? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, I got the. I'm taking notes. <laughs> okay, good. I, I don't have any good memory. I'm gonna refer to that later. If about anyone questions why we're doing this, principle. if none of if any of this ever at any point makes no sense at all, you tell them it's a matter of principle and it's about sending Scar a message. Oh, is right. It, okay. And we got to yeah. do this. Principle. It's about principle. Yeah. Principle. Okay. Okay. And principle. about sending Scar a message. And, and that's what it's about. So. Is that three exclamation marks or five? 
five. I'd say five. five. Definitely okay. five. I, I, that's what I put the down. More, the more they ask, the more exclamation marks. Because yeah. okay. at this point, it is about the principle of the method. It is it, about the principle. It really is. If anyone's so, ever confused, it's about the principle. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's Perfect. let's all go and find. Let's go find a place for the new base that is nowhere near decked out. Okay, so the new secret location for the Mycelium Resistance base may or may not be a secret tunnel and decked out. Who's to say? I can't say. Uh, but what we should do is start running some decked out. I've actually uh, <laughs> I've been playing this a lot, guys. Probably the most out of all the Hermits, actually. My strategy at the very beginning was to buy as many of the keys at the shop here. Like, whenever they go on sale, I'd buy them if I have the coins. I must have bought like at least 10 of them by now. Um, so I gotta run this thing constantly to use up all the keys, and I've been trying to do it every day. And I have over two hours of uh, footage saved up. <laughs> so we're gonna have to blitz through this. It'll be an extra long episode, and uh, yeah, let's, let's start watching some Decked Out here. Round six. Gotta clank instantly. <laughs> uh, this is the way it goes. Okay, here we go. Going slow at first. Oh, yeah, it's right here. We go in, we get out. I want to go down that well again, see if we can uh, get anything there. Oh, I got a lot of clank. Oh, wait, what's this? No barrel there. Okay, just checking. You know, you never know if you, ne if you never check. Okay, these are not traps. These are just scary pressure plates. Empty. Man, all the chests are empty today. Empty, empty. We were here last run. Oh, hey, what's this guy? Some dragon heads? The dragon egg? There's got to be a secret here, right? Okay. Oh, okay, we got spotted. Keep going, keep going. Uh, I'm going to hop in the well here. <laughs> hey, we got some coins. He's still there? He's still there! Oh, you cheater! How did he do that? There it is. Empty. Okay, we're getting out. Oh, I waited too long. The heartbeat went up. I think if we go across the bridge, though, we can bypass the Vexes. We take this route. I hope. Vexes are to the left here. Oh yeah, look at this! Oh, we don't have to worry about Vexes if we go that way. And we're also going to have to trade in our artifacts. Our board is full. You're not allowed to keep these stored in your inventory. So we got to choose. Oh, I think this is a rare. Yeah, we got a rare. Alright, we got four coins for that. Okay, so we got six cards in our deck. We're only able to use five at a time, so one of these is useless. But we can trade three of them in for a higher tiered card. Put in three. Give three tier one cards, receive one random tier two card. So, and then up from here, what did we get? It's random. Oh, we got stealth too. That's a good one. Here we go. Straight ahead. No, not straight ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I love the strides we went in the lava. It's so good. Oh, this is actually a little questionable. Actually, I think if we go through the well, we'll get to where we, we need to go here in the Blackstone area. There's a barrel down there. I don't know how you would get that, though. <laughs> it's still burning die right. I missed that before. Pretty sure I went too far. Is there anything cool here? There's a weird piece of granite there. That's something. Um. Mm hmm. Elder Girl. Oh! Pressure plate. Oh, it's one of those we gotta weigh down. Do I use the compass to do it, though? That seems like a risk. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Dude, there's a dungeon key, too? Oh my goodness, the reward. Okay, we gotta make sure we don't die here. That was a big one. Oh, speaking of. Speaking of. <laughs> Wait, I shouldn't be going this way. I need to go here. Oh, it is in here. Okay, I went right by it. 
not being observant. Oh, we got it. Okay, we got the token. Uh, let's go check this out. So flame is lit. Oh, baby. And do we check out the forest? Yes, we do. Because <laughs> I'm a greedy boy. Soul flame is lit. Oh, baby. And empty barrel. Take it like a champ. Take it like a champ. Oh, that does a lot of damage, though. Oh, it's going to be so sad if I mess this up, though. Okay. Okay. A lot of coins in my inventory. Oh. Here we go. We're good, we're good. Oh, baby, 26 coins and I thought it key. <laughs> oh, I feel sorry for the next guy to enter. I better uh, I better not go again. <laughs> okay, so we didn't really get anything with the soul flames. Uncommon B set, common witch, rare B set. Okay, we got something there. All right, let's trade these in. Oh, we got a dungeon key from that. <laughs> Dude, I am getting so many dungeon keys. I'm gonna buy some dungeon keys too, man. Why wouldn't I? They're only 18 coins. And Tango also has a Stealth 2 card up for auction here, so we should bid on that. 12 coins left over, let's bid them. Hit the button. All right, so we won the Stealth 2 card from the auction for 12 coins. So now we have two of those, and we have two of the level ones, and six cards total here, so we should trade some of these in. I'm going to get rid of the Stealth ones and the Loot Finder. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? A Speed Boost 2. I didn't even know that was a thing. What is this, round eight? Oh, do we really have to go into the forest? I hate going into the forest. Man, it's it's kind of confusing me, this one. Like it's underwater. I don't think this is possible. <laughs> I feel like it's right here. It's actually in the water. That's insane. Okay, I didn't even know that was allowed, Tango. I want to go to the soul flame area really bad, actually. Okay, this, I think there's a barrel below. No, there isn't, really. I thought he would have snuck one there. Check out the web room and an empty barrel. Okay, but we got a soul flame. That's something. I'm hearing a lot of ravagers. I think they might be below. Nope, they're right here. They're right here. I cannot sprint. <laughs> go, 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 go. I don't know where this goes. Okay, I really wanted to explore there, but no, we're not going there. There's at least two Ravagers in there, I think. Empty. Got another Soul Flame. I think we're up to three now. Ah, oh, I want to go there so bad, but we can't. The guy's right there. Still Tier 1 cards. All right, now we're probably going to have to start making some hard decisions here because our board is full of some pretty decent stuff. We're close to making a lot of sets, but let's see what we get here. Four coins and Common End, Uncommon Villager, Uncommon Wither. Ooh, a rare poison. Uh, we only have the one villager uncommon, so we're going to get rid of that. We'll save the rare poison. And uh, we'll get rid of this other stuff. It doesn't help us. Oh, another key. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, we got three coins and a key. That's pretty good. Round nine. Always worth checking it out. But today is not the day. Oh, there's a stair above there. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. I think we got to jump here and then jump here. Oh, I hit another stair. <laughs> it's impossible. How? How is this possible? Is it a one-way thing? Like, we can't go this way? Oh, it is doable. Okay, we just got to be really careful. I'm going to go a little to the left so I don't hit the stair. Okay, we finally made it. Found it. Oh, they're over there. There's two of them. Yeah, we can't go in there. Kind of feel like this does something. Go behind the waterfall. There is a soul flame here. Reason people don't want to go here is because of the skeletons, of course. <laughs> oh, and he's I've got in the tower there. Are you serious? Oh, man. Oh, man. Go hide. Hide me. Shot the polar bear. Dude, not cool. Go get him. Go get him, bear. All right, this is a death trap. I shouldn't have gone here because that guy is camping me with the enchanted bow now. Oh, there's a soul flame here. Empty. Gotta jump. Gotta jump. Gotta get out of his range. Oh, he saw me. 
Dude, the bubble golem. I might die here. Oh, we made it out. We made it out of the forest. That was, uh... Oh, that was a bad spot. kind of want to explore here. I know I don't have much time left. Let's check out the barrels. Oh, we got some coins, actually. You hear that heartbeat, though. I'm out of time, pretty much. Two coins. And that's it. Okay, we're going to get out, because I think we are on the range of, uh... Invoking the invokers. What do we get? Three soul flames? Let's see if we got an upgrade. Loot finder. Beast sense. Beast sense, dude. We got a we got an upgraded one. Unbelievable. The soul flames pay off, guys. There's an auction going on right now for a wild card of any artifact. We could get a unique that way. So I'm trying to save up coins so we can hopefully win that. Two rares in this one. Oh, I'm gonna have all the rares and no uniques. It's so Oh, it's so brutal. What do we do with these things? With this brewing stand, we'll have another close set with the common, uncommon, and rare with the witch. I think we'll get rid of this for sure. And since we only have two pieces of the B set, I think I will break it. Four more coins. So we're going to trade those in. We're going to get tier three, our first tier three card. What's it going to be? I really want either stealth or soul seeker, I think. Loot finder. Okay, that's that would be another one of my choices. That was good. Yeah, it wants us to go sharp left here. Interesting. It's gotta be in either that. Oh no! <laughs> no! 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 Okay, we lost them. Oh, it's gotta be in the either blue or red forest. If I was to guess, there's another guy over there. Dude, they're all over the spawn. Not chasing us, okay. And I hear another one over there, I think. Oh, we got a barrel. See, I think that's from our loot finder three. Because it's in the top left of the barrel. So I, I know that's not a manually placed one. Okay, where are we going, guys? What are we doing? That's a Ravager, he saw me. Is he smart, is he coming around this way? Oh, I'm not liking this. Let's uh, hide in the water. Another one. Okay, our loot finder three is doing work. Um, okay. Oh, we got some good stuff in the barrel. Look at that. Yeah, it's right around here. Probably the netherrack right here. It's a special block. Just gonna jump it. And run it. <laughs> it's a little cheesy, but it works. Okay, the clank doors are up. Man, I missed that other stealth two card. It was so good. So that other Ravager was on the bridge, like that way, so we can't go that way. Yeah, you can hear him from here. <laughs> Which means we gotta loop around. Oh, he sees us! Oh! He coming over? No. Oh, there's the other guy over there, though. We're cornered! Oh, like a champ. That guy looking at me, he's not over there. Oh, I hate this. I hate this parkour so much. So we got to go this way. That guy's right there. I think he might have saw me. Oh, he's not coming. We can't sneak under here? No. I think I will heal up because I think there's a good chance we're going to get this time. And it does nine hearts, I think. Got a soul flame. Can you get through the... Oh, yeah, over here. I really want to explore this area one time, but we never get a thing over here. Oh, I really want to check things out. Look at all the barrels here. Oh, and there's coins. We don't have a lot of time here. Just going to do a little snooping. Oh, there's a soul flame at the end there. I got to do it. <laughs> oh, and it was a mistake. Even the smithy knows to hide his treasures. Well, 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 look at all the, at the you hold this all the secrets. Oh, I think that's a a well hint. Sometimes you don't need a compass to find artifacts. I sure do. The Elder Guardian knows more than you. That's the Elder Guardian secret. Deep within the graveyard lies a bit on the beast uh, secrets. Huh. Water falls, water conceals. Through this, this path. Yeah, we're safe, we're safe, we're good. Don't let the invokers see you. The invokers like up over there. Ooh. <laughs> and we made it out. Soul Seeker or Soul Seeker? Oh. 
Oh, we got a unique, but it's not the one we need. Ocean set unique. Seven coins. That's a lot of coins. A few people have the nether rare, so I think I'll ditch that. All right, four coins. We got 41 to spend, and we're going to bid them all on the token there. I haven't put my box in yet, so it hasn't started, but this guy showed up to say hello. <laughs> I think I'm going to wait in this room for a while. Maybe he'll, he'll move a little bit. Immediately right. Oh, he got a hit on me. So I brought the beast bites with us at least. I can heal up. We got to get him out of there. <laughs> it's the problem. I got some beast bites. Nom, 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 nom. I think it's great. Maybe this is a horrible place to go. I don't know. I don't know. B-dubs gave up, though. That's one thing I know for sure. Oh, we got a coin. Yes. Okay, we got like a barracks sort of thing here. Whoa. This is a cool room. <laughs> it's got all the hermits and Tango on the throne. Let's just focus on getting the loot. Because uh, this is going to be a tough run to finish. Especially since I don't know this area. <laughs> oh, I got a dungeon key! No way! Okay, now we have to live. This was a... <laughs> that's a good prize. Oh, now he saw me for sure. I think we can get around here. Let's let him chase us a bit. Okay, he's on me. He's on me. Go, 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 go. We have to go this way. Oh, there's a door here. What is this? Doesn't do anything. Oh, I hear a, I hear a zombie near here. It's got to be in here. If it's not in here, it's somewhere else. Oh, we got it. Well, we should have got it. We didn't get it. <laughs> oh, hey. Coins and a slowness. Oh, it's over here. Okay, we got it. It's a straight shot through there, I think. I'm gonna get a slowness ready for this guy. Yeah, it's through here. We can get back. We gotta leave now. For sure. Because <laughs> we're one... I think we're one clank away from Vex's. Yeah, the Vex's just popped up. I heard him. So if this guy is still here... Okay, he's behind a fence. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, not today, buddy. You're gonna have to get the next tournament. I figured you out. Now we have some hard decisions to make because look at our board. We got four more cards, I believe. Yep. Four more cards, four coins. We got Dragon Set Uncommon. We got End Set Common. Wither Set Common. We got a unique. We got a unique, a Poison Set Unique. Do we have the... I think we have the rare. Yeah, we got the rare for that already. Okay. Now here's the other thing though, we won that auction, our 41 emeralds, decked out coins we bid, won us the wild card artifact, so we have to choose what we're going to use that on right now probably. So this is going to be our first point, so we got the common, the uncommon, and the rare, all in the dragon set, we could not find the unique, so we're going to use the wild card to act as our unique, this can be any artifact we want. So that completes the set, that'll get us a point. Assuming uh, Tango's approval, we hit this button, I think. They go down and then Tango's going to see that and give us a point. Alright, so we got to save this for sure. Got a coin. And we got a Soul Seeker too. Okay, that's the best card I could have got there. We're going to buy a Teleportation Orb. I see you got quite a number of pieces on your board. Oh, 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 oh. You, you, you got your eyes on the good stuff, don't you? I do, I do. Uh, man, you got shiny stuff, you got witch stuff, you got ocean stuff. Poison. Uh -huh. Poison as well, man. You got a lot of rares and stuff too, man. It's impressive, uh -huh. it's impressive. Uh, but, Not a lot dude, of points, but I got some stuff. <laughs> true, yeah. Soon, though, soon. Uh -huh. um, this this NSEC common, would you be willing to part with that in exchange for, let's say, like an ocean common? You know, I would. I have the ocean unique, and I don't need this thing, so... Okay, it's a deal. It's a Might deal. Might come in handy to switch it. So what do you think about... <laughs> I give you the ocean unique, and uh -huh. ocean common. Ooh, okay. So you two, know... Two for one. Mm, I like that. Yeah. That, that is actually a really good deal for me, <laughs> because then that gives me a chance to actually build out the ocean set, which... Uh, 
That works, yeah, man. That works. You have okay. one already, right? The uncommon. Yeah, I got the uncommon, so part, partly there. And uh, as you notice, I only have one extra spot, so that's going to fill the board again. Oh, perfect. Oh. All right. right. There you go. I, n I never know if it's okay to throw stuff on the ground around here. <laughs> <laughs> just get like sucked just, up by hoppers yeah. and you'll never yeah. see it again. <laughs> There's so many hoppers in the ground in this game. Oh, well, hey, there we go, man. Good luck. Awesome. I mean, that's that's it for you, right? You you got a full set now. You're going to. Oh, I just gave you the lead. Uh, I literally yeah. just gave you the no, lead. No, no. I think uh, I think Cub is at two. <sighs> Did he? I just saw it. I think he gained one. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Check this out. We're starting to get a pretty good deck here. Loot Finder 3, Stealth 2, Soul Seeker 2, Soul Seeker 1. Let's go. Round 12 of Deck Doubt. And we gotta go right. I hear Ravager to the right in the castle area. That's where we need to go. <laughs> I hear two or three Ravagers there. Uh, maybe we'll loop around to the forest, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're where we need to go. <laughs> There's like three in there. Oh, and they saw me. They actually saw me. Okay, we keep running. We don't stop. We just keep running. Dude. Oh my goodness. They're everywhere. Hey, guy. Hey, hello. Hello. Um... <laughs> Uh, I gotta rethink this. Yeah, look, that guy, he's, he's staring at me. There's one over there. I am so scared this time. I guess let's go here. There can't be any more Ravagers left, right? Kind of got to lure him out of there, too, if we can. There is a Soul Flame. There's a new barrel here! He's adding stuff, so it's got to be... Like, we got to go there, I'm sure. Let's check this out first. Oh! We might have got spotted there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. no, I don't want to lose this stuff. This is actually a good run. A soul flame. Yeah, we got to We got to book it. Oh, we almost got trapped there. I don't know what to do about this. Like, I kind of want him to chase me, but I don't want him to chase me. I'm going to throw it. OK, he just got it. Oh, that was perfect timing. You want some beast bites? Oh, dear. <laughs> That is so freaky when they start chasing you. Okay. We got him out of there. He's right on my tail. Is this guy still here? Am I trapping myself right now? I don't even know. Okay, there's one guy there. I think that worked. I think we got him out of there. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. So if someone's standing in front of the throat, he drops him down. That's good. That's awesome. Scars licking the diamonds. I hear a soul flame. Aha! Oh, the doors are down and they spotted me. Through the door. Yeah, it actually got me. Oh, no. And our heartbeat is just about maxed out. And he is in the, in the room we need to go in. Okay. Still on me. Okay, let's just go loop around. The vexes are out. He's still chasing me. Okay, it's over here. I think. Yes, we got it. Okay. We got the loot. We just got to get out somehow now. <laughs> Don't ask me how we're going to do this without dying. Not a clue. I don't remember where these guys are even. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go the way I know works if I can. No, I can't do this. He's, he's gonna turn on me right now. Oh, uh, I think we just have to book it past the vexes. No, he's over here. No, <laughs> oh. <laughs> we got sandwiched. I forgot where they all were. Round 13. Oh, the lovely bird. Oh, no. <laughs> Not going that way. Oh, my goodness. There's another one nearby. Not going that way. <laughs> Can we get through this way? 
No, man, I can't get through anywhere. Oh, go, 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 go. Yeah, he can come over here. Don't know if he... So that other guy's to the left. So this is our only route now. And it's free now. Okay, so that was the... It might not be free now. <laughs> the guy over there too! Come on! This is actually insane. Oh my goodness. Okay, we, we made it out of there somehow. I don't know how we're getting back. Yeah, we know there's a, a thing over here. Let's check this out. We got a coin. Loot Finder 3 paying off. This was a good room once upon a time. Oh, baby, he restocked it. This could be good if there's no Ravagers here. We got a flame. Another flame. Yeah, we're going to get lots of flames here. No Ravager, no Ravager, please. Flame out. Oh, another two coins. I love my coins. Give me more coins. Looking pretty standard. We'll knock out this flame, though. I think that's our third one already. Oh, another one down here. Four flames. The most flames we've ever gotten in a run. And another one! Oh, baby. We do have a lot of Soul Seeker in our deck now. Three coins. A dungeon key. Okay. We gotta get out with the stuff. This is good stuff, guys. Somewhere around here. Yes, we got our token. Another one. What do we do here? I think we gotta get that Ravager that's on the bridge to chase us. And somehow loop around. Another soul flame. Yeah, I'm gonna be greedy. <laughs> soul flame. That one played a note for some reason. Oh, okay, this could be good. We might need this to escape. I think we have to skip the wither room because if we take damage, uh, we'll get one-shotted by the beasts. So let's keep our health at full. He's over there. I hear him. <laughs> He's just waiting for me. Oh, yes. 22 coins and a dungeon key and a teleport orb. I don't know how we're going to do this, though. Okay, here he comes. Here he comes, guys. Whoa! He did not take the route I expected. I thought he'd go across the bridge. He loses vision. Well, we could still teleport past him, right? Yeah, let's do it! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> There's another guy over there! Ah! <laughs> Oh, this game is so stressful. Level one, level one. Ah, oh, didn't get lucky. All right, let's check out what we got. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of coins. Only three cards. Seven coins and three cards. Uh, common, uncommon, common. Ooh, that was a stinky <laughs> artifact box, honestly. Uh, okay, good news is we traded with Impulse. We got the shiny unique off of him for our ocean unique. So we have a full set. We can hand this in. And that'll free up a lot of space on our board. Which is great. So that'll get us another point. We're going to bid one coin on the auction item. Because I don't see anybody else's lights on. We might just steal it for a coin. <laughs> we would be a foolish not to try it at least. And we might win a B-Sense 3 with just one coin. Tango lowered it to 15, which is just a steal. I mean, we have to do it. Round 14. Oh, coins! Coins, coins, coins. Okay, so the barrels are empty. But look at this. He's got, like, furnaces all along the top here. And each one of these could have something in it. I don't think you would put something up here. I think these are decorative. But you never know, Tango. All right, they're empty. <laughs> Probably a good thing. Oh, we got more coins, though. In the actual chest. Makes sense. Okay, what do we got going on here? Is this the fire? Um, we got the stone cutter. I mean, I'll throw something in here. I doubt it'll do anything. And then there's the fireplace. Oh, wait, there's more of these. Keep going. Looks like we gotta go maybe either to the dungeon or to the bunker. Oh, more coins. I've been getting a lot of coins now when I run. I think this is a loot finder barrel. Okay. Oh, we got another one. Another coin. Another two coins. Yeah, I think it's in here. Right around here. Right by... Is that impulse? 
Okay. Oh, he's a Ravager. No. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. Check the water. I don't know why I checked this one. I've never found anything here. He is still there. Still on my tail. <laughs> Please leave me alone. I haven't been in this room in a long time. I kind of want to look. You followed me in here? No. No. Three level ones gets us a level two, and it is a stealth two. That's a good one. Nice. Round 15. Okay, guys, so our goal this time is to do the mission. I have bought two Ender Pearls from the shop. We're going to use them to check out the, uh, the little secret Corellis hole. <laughs> so it's very important we don't die, though, because these Ender Pearls were not cheap. We paid six coins for them. And if we lose them, we can't get them again for quite a while. Oh, he's still there. Um, what do we do about that guy? Should we focus on getting our loot first? So it's going to be off this way. Is this it? We got it. Okay, that was easy. Uh, Ravager's up ahead there, so let's go through the Blackstone area. Yeah, let's take the well. This way. Okay, these are empty. So we're pretty close to our destination where we want to go here. We just got to really listen for Ravagers. This is it right here. Yeah. This is our mission spot, guys. So there's a barrel down there. We need one ender pearl to go down, one to go up. Okay, we got we got it down. Free pancakes. <laughs> oh, oh, he gives an ender pearl. Okay. Secret, secret, guys. We did it. Now we just gotta get out with the loot and somehow not mess up this throw. If we miss this throw, we throw. <laughs> Uh, and I don't have my elytra to save me. Right around there. Whoa! Oh, oh man, I knocked something off of something. I think it was in here. Oh, <laughs> we got it. We got out. I think I fell in the void or something there. Or that was actual, actually a hole, not uh, concrete. Oh. Okay, we're good. So we got 18 coins out of that and an ender pearl. We might need this to get out. We got plenty of stealth this time. Oh, we got a coin. There is a guy nearby here. Oh, he's uh that's the guy we were looking at before. Okay. Let's go around, I think. Oh, there's a guy right there. Do you see me? Oh man. Soul flame! The guy's kind of camping where I want to go. Whoa, that guy must have saw me. Check all our favorite spots. I love, I love these forest areas. They've, they've been good to us, guys. Soul flame. Man, I, I got to stop playing so greedy. I just can't help myself, guys. Problem with doing this is now I'm, I'm dead in one hit. Oh, but the good news is it's worth it. Twenty-four and a soul flame. Wow, we took a lot of damage. I think we're gonna go across the bridge here. Twenty-four coins riding on this. <laughs> this room's still empty. Okay, uh, let's go for the exits. Think we uh, we did what we wanted in there. That worked out pretty good. Uh, we did punch out some soul flames, so we might get lucky here. One, one, and resistance three. Yes. <laughs> oh baby, that was really lucky. Oh my goodness, that's a big leap in our power level. Check out our loot box. Uh-oh, I'm seeing a lot of coins. <laughs> I think that usually means, uh, junk. Common, common, uncommon, common. Oh, we got a dungeon key. <laughs> Unbelievable. And a coin. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna buy this mystery box. It might be full of junk. We don't know. Kind of doubt the first one would be a bad one he puts up, though. It's just my hunch. But it also might be full of stuff that Tango thinks is valuable. But really isn't that valuable. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's a mystery. We'll find out. A whole bunch of beast fights. Oh, oh. Teleportation orbs. 
Two dungeon keys. Okay, this was definitely worth it. Like, these are like 20 coins each on their own. Uh, at least according to the last shop prices. And we got all this other stuff. So that is incredible. And we're going to trade in our tier 2 cards for a tier 3. Oh, we got Soul Seeker! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Couldn't have asked for a better one. That'll help us get more cards. So, kind of what you want early in the game. But what's in your hand? Carrot, you want one? <laughs> hey. I'm not sure why. Have you ever I'm seen not, these before? <laughs> I swear I've played this They're game good. before. They're good. For some reason, it was not registering in my in my mind. Like, what is that? Uh, it might <laughs> be time it's, for it's an eyes easy. check. An Golden EYES carrot. check, beef. <laughs> um, all right, what do you want from me? You called me over here. What do you want from yeah, me? Yeah, so you have this uh, very, very valueless uh, poison set common. It's yeah, it's rotten. a common card. It's it rotten is already. You might want to get rid of that. I'm pretty sure Grian is looking for one of my cards, and he wants to trade me a dragon card. So do you have any Ooh. dragon cards? Ooh, it's all Ooh. shiny beef. It's all shiny. I like it. I really like Can I have it? Uh, well, You can't have it, but maybe we could pay for it. <laughs> Dang, you found my loophole. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good try, though. All right, here. I'll, I'll put it. Uh, I'm doing it. I'm doing oh, it. Oh, you trust me? I trust you. Look at that. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, you didn't get the I just achievement? traded a common for an uncommon. I feel like I got the better deal here. You know what, Beef? What? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be extra generous with you, even. What do you mean, extra generous? Since you're you helping mean? me finish a set, I'm going to reward you. With some what? coins? Oh, I helped you finish a set. Yeah. And some oh, Beast wow. Bites Beef. All right, everybody. Well, this ended up being a very long episode. I hope you guys didn't mind that. <laughs> I've just been having so much fun with the Decked Out. Tango truly did an awesome job with this game. And uh, I thought I could cut it down a bit more, but uh, no. I, I want to show you guys my progress as I play through the game and all the trading and stuff. So hopefully you have a good picture of what's going on. So that's about the best I could cut it down without losing too much information. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.